so we are going to start with a chain 15 i already did that okay and then now in our first row we are going to start in the second chain from the hook so one two here and <clears throat> we are going to start by doing two single crochets in the same stitch so one single crochet and then in the same stitch you'll do another single crochet okay and then after that in the remaining stitches you'll do single crochet all the way round Okay, so when you get to the end, you're going to do single crochet and then do a chain one and turn. Okay, so then in the second row, we are going to do single crochet all the way except in the last stitch. So you do, you continue and do single crochet, single crochet. Okay. And we'll continue doing our single crochets all the way to the end. Okay, so when you get to the end in the last chain, we are going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. And then we'll do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our third row, we are going to start by doing two single crochets in the same stitch. So in the first stitch, we'll do two single crochets. And then we'll continue and do single crochets in all the remaining stitches. Okay, so when you get to the last stitch, you're going to do a single crochet, chain one and turn. Okay, now in our fourth row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around, except in the last stitch. So you continue and do single crochets and continue all the way, except in the last stitch. Okay, so when you get here at the last stitch, we are going to do two single crochets in the same stitch. And then we'll do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our fifth row, we are going to, by doing, to start by doing two single crochets in the first stitch. And we'll continue to do single crochets all the way until the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, you're going to do single crochet, chain one, and turn. Okay, so now in our sixth row, we're going to do single crochet all the way around except in the last stitch. So we we'll continue and do single crochet. Okay, so in the last stitch, we'll do two single crochets. And then chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our seventh row, we are going to do single crochet in the next 15 stitches or until you have five stitches left. Okay. So we'll continue and do single crochet. Okay, so continue doing single crochets until you have five stitches left here at the end. 
Okay, so when you have one, two, three, four, five, five stitches left, you're going to do a chain one and turn around. So this is our first leg over here. Okay, so now in the next uh, three rows, which is from row eight to row 10, we are going to continue and do single crochets in every single row. So we'll do single crochet, single crochet, Okay, so continue until here so when you get to the end you're going to do single crochet chain one and turn and then we'll continue doing single crochet in our ninth row okay so when you get here at the end do single crochet chain one turn Okay, so now in our 10th row, we are going to continue with single crochet. And continue here to the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, again, you're going to do single crochet, chain one and turn. So now in our 11th row, we are going to do single crochet in the next, uh, in all the stitches until here. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet. Okay, and continue until you get here at the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, we are going to do single crochet and then after that, we are going to start making uh, the other leg. So we are going to do a chain six. So we'll do chain one, two, three, four, five and six. And then we are going to turn. Okay, and then in the chain that you made, Starting in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do five single crochets. So we we'll continue and do single crochet in the chain one, two, three, four, and five. And then continuing to the main body, we are going to do single crochet all the way. So do single crochet. All the way to the end. Okay, so when you get here to the end, you're going to do chain one and turn. And then we're going to do single crochets all the way until here. So you're going to do single crochet all the way until you get here at the end. Okay, so when you get here at the very end, we are going to do single crochet, chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our 13th row, we are going to continue and do also single crochets all the way round to the end okay and continue doing single crochets all the way until here Okay, so when you get to the end, you're going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now for the next five rows, which is from row 14 uh, to row 18, we are going to continue in the same pattern, doing single crochet all the way until the end, chain one, turn, and repeat the same until you get to the 18th row. Okay, 
So I'll see you when you're done with the 18th row so that we do the 19th row together. Okay, so when you're done with the 18th row, this is how your elephant should look like. So now in our 19th row, we are going to do single crochet in the next 14 stitches. Okay, so I'm just going to do a two in one, turn around and do 14 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And then I do when I do my fourteen stitches, I'll do a chain one and turn around. So now in our twentieth row, we are going again to do single crochet all the way to the end. So we'll do single crochet. Okay, and continue doing single crochets all the way until here. Okay, so when you get at the very last stitch, we are going to do single crochet, chain one and turn. So now in our 21st row, we are going to do single crochet all the way to the end. So we'll do single crochet, single crochet, Okay, and continue doing single crochet until you get here. Okay, so when we get to the end, we are going to do a chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we are going to turn. Okay, and then after we turn, we are going to do a single crochet all the way until we have two stitches left here at the end. Okay. So we're going to continue and do single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And we we'll continue and do single crochet. And continuing the main body doing single crochets okay so continue until you have two stitches left here at the end okay so when you have st two stitches left here at the end we are going to decrease and then we'll do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in our third, 23rd row, we are going to start by decreasing. So we are going to decrease. And then we'll do single crochet in all the remaining stitches. So you continue to do single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so when you get to the very end, we are going to do single crochet, chain one and turn. So now in our 24th row, uh, which is the first row, we are going to skip the first stitch and then we'll do single crochet in the next seven stitches. So skip the first one and do single crochet, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and then we're going to do half double crochets in the next seven stitches. So we'll do half double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and then in the next two stitches, we are going to decrease. So we'll decrease one time and then slip stitch in the next one, like that. Okay, so that was our last row. So now we are going to do the finishing and to do the finishing, I'm going to place a marker over here and then I'll do single crochet all the way around until I get here where the trunk starts okay so I'll continue and do single crochet Okay, and continue doing single crochet until you get here just before the trunk okay so when you get here now in the trunk until here we are going just to slip stitch so we're going to continue and slip stitch all the way until you get where the marker is Okay, so continue to slip stitch until you get here to where your marker is. Okay, so when we get to where the marker is, we're going to remove the marker, slip stitch, and cut off the yarn. Like that. And then you're going to finish up later. Okay, so that's how our little elephant looks like. So now let's make the ears. Okay, so for the ears, we're going to do a chain two, so chain one and two. And then here in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do three single crochets in the same chain. So we'll do single crochet one, two, and three. Okay, and then we're going to do a chain one and turn okay and then now in the next row we are going to do two single crochet in each stitch so you do two single crochet in the first stitch two single crochet in the next and then two single crochet in the last stitch and then do a chain one and turn okay now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round so single crochet increase in the next stitch then single crochet increase and then single crochet 
and increase in the last stitch and then you do a chain one and turn okay and then in the next one we'll do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round so two single crochet increase two single crochets and increase in the next chain and one more time two single crochets and increase then chain one and turn okay now in our last row we're going to do three single crochet increase and repeat all the way so three single crochets and increase in the next chain three single crochets increase and then three single crochets and increase in the last chain okay so and then you're going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn okay so that is our little ear so this is the one we're going to attach here, right before here, like that. Okay, so as you can see the way I attached on this one. So you count uh, this row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, on the seventh row here and attach it right or uh, right adjacent. Or the se you can count from the leg, so one, two, second row from the leg like that and then i embroidered a little eye over here so you're going to make two like this i mean like this so that we can attach them together like this okay so attach the parts together and then i'll show you how to join the two uh together okay guys so after you're done um joining the ears and embroidering the eye we're going to join the two parts together so make sure they are adjacent to each other and what we're going to do is we're going to start here with the legs so that we make sure it they are all in line with each other so you're going to pick your needle and your yarn and you're going to start here and through the other stitch also Okay, then we're going to pull the yarn through and put the needle through again. Okay, and then you're going to continue with all in all the adjacent stitches by doing that. Okay, so continue joining like that all the way until you get here. Okay, so guys, when you get here, sewing here at the top, you're going to start uh, stuffing your elephant and then you're going to sew it completely all the way through. Okay, so for the small tail over here, I just did a chain six and then I attached it here at the back. Okay. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Until next time, bye.